So in a world that is, you know, constantly busy, you know, we live in a very busy world, lots of things happening, lots of things going on, and it's very, very difficult not to get involved, you know, not to get involved in all of this happenings, right? So it can be really difficult to, you know, allow your peace to be snatched away from you because you're worried about certain things that are not going well. You're worried about certain things that are not going right, even in your life, in the economy, in the country. Basically, you know, there's, if you if you want to find things to, you know, to be worried about, you know, you're going to find them. You're going to find them in bulk, right? So that's why today I'm going to talk about how to find peace and happiness. Because it's really very important that we are peaceful, we are happy, we're content in ourselves, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Hi, my name is Juliet Israel. I am a mindset coach and I share content on all things related to mindset, mental health, emotional wealth, and to help you upgrade your mind, your life, your business, and finances. So, if you love content on any related thing that I just talked about, um, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified for uh, my next video the next time that I share one. So, on to today's video, I'm talking about seven 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 steps or seven tips to finding peace ha harmony balance happiness in your life number one allow it so consciously allow peace right you know some people say that oh, they want peace but they are subconsciously rejecting it and what do i mean is that they you know they're allowing things into their life that is like the opposite of peace right and happiness so you need to Consciously, not even subconsciously right now. You need to consciously accept and allow peace and happiness into your life. Allow it to flow into your life. Number two, meditate. So meditation helps you, you know, focus on the now. You know, meditation helps you calm your mind, right? So meditation is going to help you bring peace and harmony and balance into your life. So number three is to be grateful. You know, practice gratitude. So, um... Be grateful. I have, I, I do something every single day uh, that I say something, just one thing. I just need to look for one thing in my day when I wake up that I'm grateful for, or before I sleep, something that I'm grateful for. So that actually makes me, if even though lots of things are, ha are happening are making me sad, I'm just going to stick to that one thing and say, oh, because of this, I'm going to choose to be happy, right? So be grateful, practice grat um, gratitude, right? So another one, which is number four, is to declutter your mind. So our mind, uh, just like your house, will be arranged and scattered. You know, your, your mind could also be um, cluttered and clustered with lots of things, lots of languages and emotions and, and thoughts. So you need to declutter your mind. So um, the fourth or the fifth one, right? The fifth one is to take responsibility for your action right so when you if you want peace and you want happiness you want calmness into your life you need to start taking responsibility for your actions you need to start you know owning up to your actions those things that you're doing right so take responsibility for your action and then number six is um love yourself i have done a full series on self-love so if you don't think, don't know how to love yourself go find that series uh, i may link it somewhere in this video so just Learn to practice um, self-love on yourself. Be compassionate towards yourself. Love yourself. And then the final one is to, you know, be content. You're never going to win um, or be happy when you keep when you keep comparing yourself with someone else. Even though you have more than the person, or the person has more than you, you're not going to. You need to be content with what you have, where you are. Even as you strive towards becoming better and strive towards getting better, becoming better, becoming bigger and all that, you need to, you know, um, practice contentment. Be content with what you have. Stop the comparison game. It's not going to help you win. It's not going to help you in the long run. It's not going to help you um, become better. It's not going to help you find peace and harmony and happiness and balance in yourself. So you need to um, practice contentment. You need to deliberately decide to be content with what you have. All right. So these are some of the things that can help you, you know, become more happy and more find peace and balance in your life. These are some tips that can help you. So I hope you got value. I hope you learned something. If you did, leave a thumbs up and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. And share this video with someone that you care about, someone that you think is going to find it valuable. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of my video the next time that I drop one. Until next time that I come your way, my name is Juliet Israel. Bye.